respond to a decades-old cold case that could finally be cracked thanks to DNA. What was the critical clue that finally led to an arrest? Local 10's Ian Margle is live to explain. Ian. The man that has been linked to this case is 60 years old, and you said it. He was linked to it by DNA. Now, earlier today, I got to speak to a Herald reporter who covered this case extensively. Her name is Edna Buchanan, and we got a chance to speak about how this case could finally be coming to an end. Robert Kohler may be the man police in South Florida have been looking for since the 80s. The 60 year old was arrested in the Orlando area over the weekend for one charge of armed sexual battery and his alleged actions are consistent with the MO of a man known as the pillowcase rapist. The rape treatment center calls the pillowcase rapist a crafty criminal who's thrilled to pieces he hasn't been caught in five years. Police say they expect the recent publicity will make him more cautious, but they don't believe it'll stop him. The pillowcase rapist terrorized more than 40 women from South Miami to Deerfield Beach in the 1980s. And no one covered the case more closely than former Miami Herald reporter and author Edna Buchanan. She even included him in her first novel. It appears at this writing that the pillowcase rapist is not struck since he attacked the quick-witted woman, victim number 44, who tricked him into showing his face. In the nearly 40 years since the pillowcase rapist was attacking women, Buchanan began to doubt he would ever be caught. I really thought that somehow it was not going to happen unless it was DNA. And it appears that's exactly how Kohler was linked to the case. Detectives are now waiting for him to be brought to Miami-Dade to face his charges. I'm really elated that it's happened, but I'd love to know more about how it happened. And so he is still in Brevard County waiting to be brought here to Miami-Dade. Of course, we are going to stay on top of this one. As soon as we get any updates, we will let you know. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News. Okay.